folks, just got off the bus. That's the Taunton to Minehead Road. The bus, good job I knew where to get off because she was, even though I said to the driver, can you stop at Bicknoller, she was going to go on. I had to press the button twice. She went past the bus stop. And there was only about three of us on the bus and I said to her when I got on, I said, oh, could you, I'm just letting you know, I want to get off at Bicknoller. Anyway. It's Saturday the 9th of, I think it's the 9th, October. It could be the 10th actually, I'm not sure. And I'm over at Bicknoller and I'm going for a walk today. I'm doing a little bit of exploring at Paradise Coombe. And then I'm going to head for um, Higher Hair Nap towards Holford today. Now I, I was a bit worried because it was very misty when it, I first left. It was dark. It's just um, warming up now. It was quite cold on the bus. I had to put my hat on because we have to have the windows open, you see. It's a nice looking rave, isn't it? And um, yeah, I thought, I thought, oh no, I'm not going to have to walk in the mist again. There will be, be a lot of good misty views. That's true. I've brought my stick. It's probably a woman on her own. You've got to carry a stick these days. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to video for long. I'm walking up through the village. I'll be passing the pub and the church. I think I'm... Um, yeah, I think I'm in tune. Just an introduction. It's about... Because um, I haven't got a mobile anymore. That packs up. So it's probably about ten past eight in the morning now. It's best to get an early start, then I don't have to rush, you see. Because there's a, there are hills involved. And uh, if I left it another two hours, it'd be midday by the time I got up the top, and then, then it's more of a rush. So uh, I don't want it t too late coming back either. So anyway, this is Big Dollar, everyone. And uh, the hills, I'll be climbing up them. But I'm trying a different route, which I haven't used before. I've got a map. I've been on and had a good look what route I've got to take. And uh, that's what I'll be doing. Yeah, it just looks a bit unfamiliar for some reason. I've been doing, going to West Bagbury, you see, the last couple of visits over here. I've been going to West Bagbury early in the morning. An awful stop, that is. Um, so there we are, there's the hills. I just zoom in, there's a little tree just in the bosom of that hill there. Look. I'll be climbing up on those later. These, that's got this sort of um, barrows and burial mounds up there, by the way. I'll be going near that hill. I will be going near it very soon. Right, so there's the pub. The pub. So I'm going to turn off now. I don't want to use too much now. This is just an introduction. I'll be walking through the village. I'm not going to video the whole of it because I've done it before. If you want to see all of it, you'll have to look at other videos I've done. Over and out for now. Right then, I've walked through the village. This is video two. <laughs> Instead of going up Bicknola Coombe, which would have carried me straight on, at the gate I turned sharp right and I'm following this path. This is a path that's going to take me around some tumuli, some ancient burial mounds, which will be up the top there some sort of stone circles 
and I'm heading for what's called Paradise Coombe. So, there's going to be two coombs, or walks. One's going to be called short, and one's going to be called long. But I don't go on either of those. What I do... It's quite, quite a steep climb, that bit. What I do is, um... Just meander along here. There's even a farm called Paradise Farm. I've got the map. I will get it out eventually. I do sometimes when I'm doing a new route. I like maps. I like to physically have... I know you can get it on your screen. I know all that. I just haven't got one of those phones yet. In fact, I haven't got a phone at all at the moment. All I've got is a little radio, tiny one, earpiece one, very light, which should tell me the time. So that's all I need to know at the moment. So my radio, my phone packed up. I just put 10 quid in and it died. I phoned up O2 and they just said no. Even though I put 10 quid in and I had been using it. And people have been phoning me on it. Dentists and doctors. Anyway, folks, not to worry about worrying things. Here we are, keeping an eye out for the early morning deer. Now, I'm really glad the mist has lifted because I was a bit concerned that it was going to be very, very misty. Like one of my West Bagra walks. Uh, which was so misty, I couldn't take any views. I mean you can see views there. There's a big knowledge church like down there. See? And there's the landscape. A little bit misty here and there. Oh look, I'm greeted by a lovely toadstool. Oh you're one of the few left out are you? Before the winter comes. Like I said, I've never ever walked here before. I do like doing... I do like doing new routes. There's another view of the church. So I'm going to turn off here because I need to take a picture of this. I need to take a picture. I will be doing short videos and I'll join them up and I'll be on quite soon. So there's some continuity. Or I'll warn you why I won't be back on for a bit. I'll be carrying on up this track, exploring, over and out, heading for Paradise Coombe. Right, folks, I'm carrying on this uh, round in Bicknoller Hill, and the Coombe I'm going up, which will be Paradise Coombe eventually, is like a parallel Coombe to Bicknoller Coombe. So anyway, it's, I'm, I'm just being careful because it's loose stones. You can you can easily be like rolled along by them. There's some lovely oak trees here, though. Loads of evidence of deer runs coming down off the hills here, there, and everywhere. Uh, so that all that there with the deer, which I've seen loads of times, do sit is Bicknoller Hill. And then as we go over in a minute, we'll be. I don't know if it's called Paradise Hill. I'd have to look on the map. I've got the map. Um, I've got the map. There we go. See? Here's the map. We're here. Where my thumb is, we're going along there. Okay, now there's some... I've got my glasses in my pocket. I'll just get my glasses out again. A minute, so I can read parts of the map off, the features that we're supposed to be able to see. And we've got um, the Trendle Ring Settlement. That is somewhere up there. Now you've got like a bosom there again. Look, see that dip? Like that. 
So Trendle, that's Bicknoller Hill, all that. Eventually we've got to go through Quant Quantock Moor Farm over towards Paradise Farm. Um, there is a, a way in a minute we can go short coom. If we wanted to get straight up onto the top, we can go up short coom. But I don't plan to do that. I'm going to Paradise Coom here. So we've got Quantock Moor Farm and Paradise Farm. Then we'll eventually we'll come to Thorncombe Hill, which we did in the summer, but we'll be going in reverse. We'll be going to Hullsway Post, which is of also familiar features. And then, um, after that, it'll be um, heading for higher hair nap. Walks I did a lot. Walks I've done a lot. Seems to be getting misty again for a little while. But I'm enjoying this. This is why I wanted to make the early start. I had thought we'd get in later. But the thing is, the time really goes fast. And when you're doing some exploring, it can take you longer because you, you're looking, you're studying. Um, it's unfamiliar territory. You've never done it. You don't know how long it'll take you. And um, but I wanted to do it today. Um, on the way back, I intend coming down Paradise Coombe, but in but I'm going to be not following this track. There's another track I want to do that will take me back to the village of Bicknoller. I'm just exploring different routes today. This is a perfect day before winter really sets in. This is like a mild Indian win uh, s summer we're having, autumn rather. Um, it's an opportunity for people to get out. I'm not sure if it's still the rucking season where the deer, the stags, that could be over now. I think it's normally September. I'm not sure if it's still going on. <laughs> I'm hoping to see some deer today. Might not though. It doesn't always happen. So when I get, we're just doing one stage at a time. So at the moment we're transversing a route that takes us towards two farms until we get to the track that'll take us up Paradise Coombe. It's a, I don't know how far it is. Do you know what I mean? I haven't got a clue how far it is. And for all I know, that could be the route where there's a split. Because sometimes it's not very clear. They don't label anything. Um, sometimes it's as if they don't want you to know. Um, it's weird in the countryside, to be quite honest. People take ownership of their land, uh, even if they don't own it. Um, that's a big tree, isn't it? That's an ash. Let's hope they don't chop you down. You look pretty healthy to me. That's a really big ash tree, that is, and it's hundreds of years old. Hundreds. It's probably lived through the plague and lots of diseases. That's an ash. And he's perfectly happy there. And there's another one. There's loads of them. Yeah, so I like to, to come out and take my time. We're coming to a gate now. Like I said, you don't know what you're going to meet when you're on these routes. You don't know if there's going to be gates. There's an old building there, look. I'd probably video more of this bit than anything because this is the new section I haven't done before. And I bet you that'll say Bick Noller on there. It's a great day for it though. Like I said, it's uh, we're having a whole week of this sort of thing, so I should be out a lot. Right, so that's just telling us that's Bick Noller Hill, okay? It's warning you about Lyme's disease as well. That's the first time 
Yeah, ticks, yeah. I think I've had a couple of tick bites this year. Um, the thing is, I did get limes and got treated for it. I don't know if it gives you any immunity. I'm not sure if it does. Um, but, and the Quantox is the place you pick them up. I've just passed several deer tracks. Um, deer runs. So this is obviously a very... The ticks are just waiting to jump on you when you're going along, you know. It's, uh, it's a risk. You, otherwise you don't come out. Don't come out, don't explore. Yeah, so that's some sort of feature. That's uh, this big wall thing, isn't it? Oh, looks like there's a river down here. We're quite low down, actually. We're quite low down. Another old wall in there, look. I will try to keep to the tracks, but sometimes you're forced off them. And the thing is with ticks, they jump off trees as well. God, there's some bloody houses. That must be the first farm. Look. That must be the first farm. We've got across the stream now, folks. It's all exciting though, isn't it? And we follow this sign in a minute. I'm going to turn off when I just get up here. I've just got to negotiate the stream. I don't want to get my feet wet. Yeah, sometimes there's never any proper... Um, Right, hold on. We don't want to go down that way, I don't think. Quantock Greenway. Oh, we're back on the Quantock Greenway, look. Right, let me just take a, turn off and take a picture of this.